Mabuhay! <coughs> this is like so MacGyvery, you have no idea. I'm like on a stool from the new kitchen in my room where there's a bunch of wind. It's just this is not natural. <laughs> hey everyone! We moved. We moved to a new place and I love it. And we went on tour and uh, I didn't quite love it. I always say this a lot, but it is truly another whole video to talk about the tour and I need KP and Tony in that video with me because I don't think I could quite do all of the things that happened justice in this video. So this is just going to be a check-in. Hi, I am back home. We went on tour for from late June to early September and then we came home and then we moved and then it was the new year and then I got bronchitis and I really wanted to do a 2019 like recap because I missed the year before because man the past couple years have been wild but I don't know if I really can do it the same way that I used to and I think that's okay like things have changed a lot I was looking back on my last video that I posted about winning calf and uh, I was so convinced that I would be filming every day and like filming the process when we weren't performing we'd be filming videos and like part of that was true but like also I was like the main producer and the marketing coordinator and like performing in two shows all summer. So I was like making videos, but they were for like Instagram and they weren't like this. There was no time, like any time that we had to spare, we were sleeping or eating ramen. So uh, I take it back. <laughs> I had no idea what I was in for. I've been thinking a lot about this channel and about the legacy of this channel and how it's just kind of like out there with all this old content and like what the fuck am I going to do with it? I uh, was sending some old videos about periods and um, endometriosis and the Diva Cup to a friend of mine who was doing some research. And uh, you know when you like play out a video and then uh, the next video just like automatically starts playing? Well, <laughs> never do that if you're a feminist YouTuber because the first thing that started playing was a video where these two uh, men stole my content and did like the beautiful like voiceover where you can't hear them where you think that they're so fucking sly like oh look I can do a voiceover and steal somebody's fucking footage like classic scum <laughs> content on the internet yeah they were just like being hateful towards me and transphobic about uh, periods and how like cis women are the only people who can get periods and like it's not that new of a concept but like the internet's super transphobic so fuck them anyway they're just like being super incredibly hateful and like joking about how they're gonna send all of their followers to like send me something nice so we can be different what did they say they were just like oh but like don't don't question that she's Asian she'll get so upset about it and I'm just like are you having fun? Like, are you fuckboys having fun, like, making this fucking video? I mean, I'm glad that I could, like, make your video for you because you can't do it yourself. And it just kind of, like, reminded me how I started this whole journey of creating Monica vs. the Internet, which I really haven't, like, told any of you guys about because I've been out living it and doing it. But it's, like, so funny that, you know, Monica vs. the Internet is kind of a journey of me and the Filipino women in my life and how I start in theater and then leave theater because it's super racist and then go to YouTube and then leave YouTube because it's so racist and then come back to theater and like now I'm in this weird in-between space of like theater activism and the internet so it, it was weird to me because it felt like this um this full circle moment where I was like oh I'm going back on YouTube to watch my old videos oh, there's a hate video that I've, like, never seen. Because I don't, I don't fucking watch them. Like, I feel like that's probably part of the point. Like, you know 
that we're not watching. And so you're like, oh, like, she's dodging criticism. I'm like, mm, that's bold of you to think that, like, you are smart enough to create a criticism that, like, makes any coherent sense. Bold, but not quite true. So, yeah, like, I, I, I don't watch these fucking videos if people are gonna steal my content. That's, like, flag number one. And to see a bit of it and then to, like, check the comments to see if there's any, like, golden nuggets for the next shows in the future, it just, like, it reminds you, like, how much hatred there is out there, how it's, like, never-ending. Like, literally, I haven't made a video in, I don't know how many months, like, almost a year, probably. Yeah, I probably made the last video in, like, January or something. And people still, like, as, as early as, like, two weeks ago are on my channel being like, you're fat, and you should die, and you're ugly. It's like, I know that I'm fat, femme, Asian, and fabulous, like the white cis gay man's nightmare, and I'm okay with that. Like, I'm okay with that. <laughs> I don't know what this means as a creator to, like, be here in a new year and to film a new video. And, and this is the thing, is that I was like, it actually inspired me to make a video. Uh, not on anything in particular, but just, like, a reaction to where I am in this process and like what, what the fuck this is anymore because I don't know do I make videos anymore am I starting a whole new chapter of what I make I have a lot of news about Monica versus the internet coming up this year but I can't say it yet so what is this like what is this relationship anymore like what who's there other than the hateful fuck boys that have nothing better to do like and I think I, I like I know that there's people that I both know and that I don't know who watch these and and find some merit in some of the old things but uh, I don't think I can keep up at the pace that I used to anymore like when I was in school I would like learn a new concept and then I'd be like great I want to make a video about it uh, or I'd read a new book and then I would be like great there's a lot of things in there I'm gonna recommend this book or like talk about this thing and now I'm like do I really want to educate people and I do I think I still do in some ways so an educator and a creator and uh, a person who like shares space with people who are learning I think that's super valuable but I don't approach it in the same way anymore because I give so many less fucks than I used to. When I started this channel, I was like pretty certain that I would never do like a comment commentary ever. Like I would never really like talk about the comments or the hatred or whatever. I would just like do my thing and exist or whatever. And then I made a show about all of the hatred in the comments and that was extremely well received. We got five stars across the country in various cities. We got awards for this show. We have a future tour coming up of it and it, it made an impact. And it had an impact on me, most certainly. It definitely has changed my life. I'm different now. I think that's the beauty of this, is that I am now 26 years old. I'll be 27 this year. It's 2020. I have given about all of the fucks I can give to the organizations that have been racist to me, to my friends, to my co-workers. Like, I have done everything for them that is humanly possible to help people understand how not to be assholes. So this year for me is all about, like, growth and creating stuff that I want to create and that our company Rage Sweater wants to create <clears throat> and not like wasting time on the people who are trying to like slow me down. Like I don't have time for the people that find it like fun and a great time to just like be hateful towards other people. Like and it sounds like a simple thing but I, I just don't have time for it anymore. And I don't think you should make time for it anymore either. Like what the fuck? I'm like a comedian now, like I do comedy sets and that's a real thing that's like in the ethos now. I like write shows and I'm a writer now, which I never wanted to be a writer, but now I'm a writer. Uh, I work professionally in 
both of my fields in theater and gender studies and that that is a uh, such a privilege and I have a lot of privilege navigating all of this even being on the internet and seeing hateful comments blah 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 still have an immense amount of privilege that allows me to navigate that in a different way and I think I am deciding that I am taking my time and my power and my privilege to use in other ways like I I want to make videos but I want to make really different videos I want to make shows but I don't want to cater to anyone anymore uh, I want to make sketch with KP and just like be funny all the time because that's like the greatest joy that I get is being funny and making people laugh I like horrible things that will otherwise make us feel down, put us down, uh, would marginalize us. Uh, when we take back, when we take it back, and we take back our power, and we just like make art and do like such creative things with it. My God, like we're unstoppable. That's so exciting so like energized about what's next like there's so much stuff coming up and I'm so excited like this is what it must feel like to be in like the height of my career well I don't want to say that I'm gonna say the height of my career is like always maybe getting better or whatever yeah yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. thank you for listening to my check-in about where I'm at and how I'm feeling about my YouTube channel and it's not a plan. I'm like done promising when a new video is gonna be up and I'm gonna stop like in every video saying, ooh, I'm gonna do this in another video. I'm just gonna like stop doing that. I'm gonna do this whenever I feel like it, whenever I want. And if you want, you can watch and subscribe and go there and there and there and do whatever. But uh, you don't have to. And you certainly don't have to steal my content, you know. All right, salamat. I will see you when I see you. Bye. Look at this fucking flawless Fenty face. <laughs> mm. Can't show my identity because I'm a fucking dick.